Emoji Zoo TV. I'm Coach Dins. I'm standing alongside Coach uh, Long from Hudson Valley Community College. Coach, um, what brings you in an event like this uh, today? Actually, I, uh, Bobby Shields had reached out to me and told me about the event and told me about, you know, all the players are going to be here. Uh, for me, a lot of times, uh, players like this, I'm not going to see them until near the end of their senior year where they're really undecided in what they want to do and where they want to go. Uh, what this does, though, it helps me get familiar with a few of the kids, the local kids that maybe I don't get a chance to get out and see play. Uh, you know, during the school year when I'm playing, they're playing, and it makes it difficult. Uh, but like I said, there's, you know, some names and faces are starting to come together a little bit. Yeah. Athletic, can shoot it, all that stuff, but their grades are not so good. And you guys are D3 Division Juco, and you got Division One. Division, they give scholarships. Right. So how do you work that all out? In? Well, uh, you know, we, we try to look at kids and tell them uh, Hudson Valley has a very high level of competition. In the last three years, our region has produced uh, Herkimer, uh, like four years ago before the pandemic, they won the national championship. Mm. And then two years ago, uh, Mohawk Valley made the final game and lost in overtime. Mm. And last year, Genesee made the final and lost in overtime. So we're, we're going against teams that are national caliber uh, teams. And so we need to get kids that can help us compete against that level of competition. Mm -hmm. And so when we look at a kid here, we look at a kid here locally uh, who might not have the academics, uh, but ha certainly has the athletic ability or ability to shoot the ball, has something that can help us, then we'd definitely be very interested. And the, the other thing, too, is that uh, you end up getting some kids that might not have gotten the look uh, that um, not that they think they want, but maybe they're just not uh, decided where they want to go or what level they want to play at. And so they come to us for a year or two years, and now it kind of helps them elevate their game a little bit. Maybe they need it just a little bit more. And then uh, I had a young man, uh, uh, Lou Pergault, uh, played at LaSalle, came to us, had a pretty good first year. And then that was before the pandemic. Then we didn't have a season, then he came back. And his second year, he really, really uh, came quite a ways and got a lot better. Uh, he's going to Utica. Uh, Sean Coffey out there got him, and I think he got a steal because I think Luke was probably a Division II player at this point right now. So he got that, that's what I'm talking about. He got that chance to improve his game at our level. Now, tell me about some of the kids you see here that you, that's on your radar. To be honest, I don't know yet. Uh, I'm going to ask the question. Uh, I, uh, this is my first opportunity to see some of these kids play, and I was just over here trying to put names and faces mm -hmm. together. At least I'm somewhat familiar, you know. Um, you know, a kid from LaSalle, my, my son is a JV mm -hmm. basketball coach over there, so that kind of... You know, piqued my interest there. The kid's very athletic and he's got size. Uh, there's CBA kids. So, you know, those are all interesting to me. All right. So what do you so what do you look for personally in a, in a kid um, that goes to Hudson Valley? I know there's a lot of people that go there. I know you have tryouts too, right? It's not something you just walk into and you're on the team. So right. what's that process look like? Well, we're, uh, we can have eight hours of workouts uh, during September. So we get guys in the gym, and that gives us an idea uh, of what they can do. And then uh, on October 1st, we have our first day of official tryouts, mm -hmm. and we try to get the squad picked by October 2nd or 3rd. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year, I compiled a list. We had an interest meeting the first week, 
and uh, my list ended up over 60 names. So, oh, oh yeah, no, it's not bad. And uh, but we actually have had like uh, about 30 kids that have come over and expressed interest in playing. So now I'm trying to get it down to about 20 um, and have uh, a couple more days of the workouts. And then we get to day one and we go from there. You know, I keep 15. We've got some good local, local talent. Uh, have about uh, nine guys back from last year and we were 16 and seven last year. And uh, we were uh, seated fourth in the region, so. So that brings my next question. What's your predictions? My last question. What's your predictions for the season? Here? Uh, ho hopefully we could win 20 games. Uh, we've only got 25 games scheduled. But, uh, you know, if we can uh, be over 500, that's what I'm always looking for. But I do want to make the uh, regional tournament again. And I uh, hope we can do a little more than we did last year. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate your time. Uh, no problem. <laughs> All right. You